The Truth of Girls. Hi everyone. Lots and lots of bees are dying and it's largely due to pesticides, especially the pesticides used for genetic, genetically modified crops and not just the pesticides, but the genetically modified crops themselves and their pollen. 1,500 colonies of honeybees die in Campeche. This is a Campeche, Mexico. It says 1,500 colonies of honeybees from a community in uh, Hopelchen, Campeche died this February 6th from the fumigation of Monsanto's GMOs in a nearby area. And uh, th there is there is still a lot of debate about GMOs. I mean, there has to be because the corporations are really pushing them. Um, as in this article, they mentioned that those in favor of them are saying this is going to uh, help Mexico to have GM corn uh, because they're a huge consumer of corn and they, they need the GM corn to be able to pr produce enough corn because this could be corn that could be in uh, dry areas or withstand all kinds of conditions or fight off pests. Uh, but you know, those are lies of the GMO industry because um, the, GM, the GMO crops have been shown to cause a lot of problems. Like for one, the weed killers cause a lot of problems. Those weeds then become resistant to Roundup and the, uh, the GMOs have been shown to be very toxic to humans and animals and very damaging to the environment. And the bees are, are some of the victims. And this is very serious because the bees pollinate and if the bees die, well, then things don't get pollinated, they don't produce fruit, things don't grow. Um, and it's not only happening in Mexico. Montecito bees, a signal of things to come. There's been an absolutely huge die-off of bees in Montecito, California. And uh, upon investigation, it was found that it was directly related to pesticides, a GMO and, and otherwise. And uh, one of the pesticides that the most, that's the most toxic to bees is a, a, an EPA-approved GMO insecticide uh, that contains what's called a neonicotinoid. This is some of the clearest evidence of how damaging the GMOs and the GMO pesticides really are to bees. What they're talking about here are the GMO pesticides known as neonicotinoids, including one called clothianidin, which is very toxic to bees. It makes them totally disoriented, so they don't go back to their hive. And um, it's not only toxic to bees, but it's, it's toxic to life in general, and it's found now throughout the food chain. As it says here, the research team found that neonicotinoid compounds were in the soil, including in fields where the chemicals were not even sprayed, as well as on various plants and flowers visited by bees. So if you hear anything about why are there all these massive die-offs, maybe it's cell phone towers, maybe it's some kind of disease, maybe it's the zombie fly. You know, the fact is that all the evidence points to GMOs. So we just have to keep raising awareness about GMOs and how dangerous they really are to human, animal health, and the environment. Because if people realize that and they don't buy them, that's going to start putting pressure on the companies um, not to produce them. Because all they really want is to make money. Well, they also want to kill you because they're depopulationists. But they do want to make a lot of money. So if you say no to GMOs, they're going to have to come up with some alternatives to sell you. Because otherwise somebody else will come up with them. So uh, let me know what you think and if you have any suggestions about how to raise awareness about GMOs and help people to understand why they want to avoid them and, and how to avoid them, well then leave me your comments about that. And thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time.